hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use timeline here on clickup let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in clickup i need you to hit the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go the timeline view in clickup allows you to visualize tasks projects and workflows over time making it easier to manage deadlines dependencies and workload distribution it's a great tool for planning and tracking progress in a more linear calendar like fashion and for you to be able to do that you need to go to the task or list or space that you wanted to all right and we need to enable the timeline view by going to the option here the plus button you see that beside the uh options here click that and you would be able to have the uh section where you can see the timeline just below the form beside activity and on above workload now we need to understand the timeline layout because the timeline displays your tasks as horizontal bar that span from the start to the due date all right tasks are displayed in rows grouped by lists users or custom fields of course you can adjust the zoom level to view tasks by day week month or year depending on your preferences now by doing so for you to be able to zoom it out all they're gonna do is um click on this plus and minus button just click on today you see that you have the task for and schedule and overdue you have those sections as you can see it has the feature of auto save so you don't have to worry on now here you can rename i'm going to rename this as how to use timeline you have the option to add a task right directly here by clicking on a date range where you want the task to appear in this case this is that i'm going to add some description i'm going to add some uh dates here due date is going to be around maybe a september 20th okay and um uh, priority is kind of like urgent tags is i'm going to create one press enter and assignee is gonna be me if you have if you're working with multiple team members you might want to assign that to others once you have done that click on the create task and as you can see when you open this new task that has been added to your timeline you would be able to see the status all right and of course you can adjust the uh, tasks left by dragging the edges this one as you can see now if we're looking on today and you wanted to check if it's gonna be for next week or uh this month you just have to hover down on the right side you can click the week right here of course you can use the toolbar to see the edges of your timeline you can also check the uh, month so you can have a better control on the timeline you see when you drag it the uh, bar is also moving right you can see the status if it's overdue or just in on the right uh track you can have you can set the filters by status tags due date priority and until uh the uh, task type if you want it and you can save that folder or filter as well now for example i'm hovering back to the list view or the gantt view for that matter say i wanted to move this one particularly here just like that and hover back to uh, the uh, timeline going back to the list because i'm going to drag this just around here now i have changed that i'm switching back to the uh, timeline view just wanting to make sure that the timeline is correct now on the pane here you can simply click the option to create a new task for example i'm going to be putting something here tplafs timeline you can set another assignee you can set priority to maybe like a low 
not really urgent but maybe um high so it's a lot easier you can start date you can set this as recurring if you feel like for example you're you're on a meeting using the timeline and you wanted to set this as a weekly um, uh, thing i'm not gonna recur this forever instead i'm gonna make it weekly i think on every every uh friday click on save you see it's not recurring and this is the estimate task all right for example it, it, it'll uh i'll have like 60 60 or maybe 20 hours to uh and it changes auto automatically save right click on save don't worry now we see that a new timeline has been created here if we can only go back to the day let's grab it here you see that Now, if you don't want this kind of interface, go to the customize, go to the uh, layout options. You see, there's a lot of that you can work with. All right, so that if you wanted to. Uh, so you can scrub the timeline if you wanted. See, it's a lot better, right? So that's if you wanted to have more control and get, uh, get a vantage point over the timeline that you are working here on your specific uh, task now on the uh now once it's cleared up as you can see that clickups timeline view is perfect for project managers and teams looking to manage projects in a visual time-based format because you can drag it here helping to maintain control over timelines and resources if you wanted to have more control about the timeline you might want to use the automations here but i highly suggest um, this is for only who have technical expertise and coding background because if you wanted to have more control over the uh, timeline tasks views and project status you might want to do this simple workflow but i'm not going to do that because it, it requires a little bit of uh, tech savviness but uh, i'm just showing you to make sure that you have this option with you all right now another good thing about using timeline is the comment section here because if you're working with multiple freelancers, team members, and collaborators, they might want to put in some information here. For example, they have a comment. They can put in emojis and a file if you wanted. So that they could give a linear visual representation of the project schedule. You can easily have how you can easily see how tasks are spread over time, helping you to understand the flow of the work by all the uh, people involved in this specific timeline in ClickUp project. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.